What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Walter Kills HD, and uh, today I've got a pretty good announcement for you guys. I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. Uh, basically, 402 or Robert Bowling just added something on Twitter that was pretty awesome. Uh, basically, he added 400 new ranks at five prestige levels in Modern Warfare 3 on PC, or uh, you know, also known as computer, on uh, the last patch. And uh, what he's basically going to do is he's going to be having it come to console soon. And, uh, you know, I think this is a great idea. And you guys are probably saying, what does this mean? Well, basically, on Modern Warfare 3, you guys will be having five new prestige levels. So it's not going to be going to 10th prestige anymore. It will be going to 15th prestige. Now, when this is going to be happening, um, you know, it's probably going to be in the next uh, update for the Elite users, which uh, I believe is the 20th or something like that, maybe 26th. It's around there, guys, but uh, what I think this is great is because on Black Ops, uh, I was one of the first people that basically got 14th Prestige on there, and, uh, you know, it was just personal preference. I didn't want to get to 15th because I liked the 14th emblem better and whatnot, but uh, when I hit that emblem, you know, it was like the game was almost over because I got all gold guns shortly after getting 14th Prestige, and the game got stale pretty fast. Now, you know, if you're asking if Black Ops is a good game, Yes, but, you know, I think this is a great idea just knowing that, you know, adding this extra level will mean that the game will still be getting a lot more people staying on and not just leaving to go somewhere else. You know, I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if they didn't add 5 to 10 more prestige levels, you know? I think that they're trying to make people not go to, you know, other companies or, such as Battlefield and games like that. You know, they want you guys to be on board with Call of Duty. They want you guys to be supporting them, and uh, I'm pretty sure this is why they've been doing all these updates. I mean, basically infected, you know, there was a couple things wrong with it. They fixed it. The, you know, there's a couple more problems wrong that they did in the recent update to fix it on Xbox. And uh, they're already on board fixing that. So, uh, you know, I think that they're tired of having that old bad rep that they used to have. And I think that they finally take in charge of their actions, and I, I really enjoy this, and, uh, you know, ooh, right there, about just getting knife launched, oh god, oh god. But, uh, you know, I think it's a good thing that, uh, you know, they're finally taking actions, and they're actually doing something compared to what their reactions were on Modern Warfare 2. Uh, basically, if you guys do not know, Modern Warfare 2, Infinity Ward had absolutely no fixes. There was a javelin glitch that probably was out for two to three months. <laughs> there was an emergency airdrop and care package glitch that you basically had unlimited care packages after the first one, and it lasted for probably two to three months straight. And it was just terrible, the reaction to Infinity Ward fixing things. But, uh, you know, they think that they seem to be on top of things now, guys. And, you know, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, you know, I really can't wait to see what the prestige emblems look like, uh, you know. Hopefully they're better than the current 10th one on Modern Warfare 3, because the current 10th one, I, I honestly think it just looks terrible. But, you know, that's personal preference there, and, you know, that's that's just my own opinion. And, uh, you know, but I think that's really, really good that they're coming out with this. I mean, it's a really smart move by Infinity Ward, especially with, you know, new games that are going to be coming out in, you know, within the next couple months. And, you know, you have Summer, you have E3 that's going to be announcing, you know... The bigger game titles, and I really think that you know Infinity Ward's actually starting to basically improve, and that's always a good thing. And you know Treyarch, they were not redeeming themselves after uh, World at War came out, but as soon as Black Ops came out, they redeemed themselves a lot. And I think Infinity Ward's kind of falling in that footsteps, uh, if you ask me. And basically, uh, you know, I think that I wouldn't be surprised if you guys here within the next couple of weeks that there may be another 5 prestige levels or 10. So uh, you guys need to check that out to make sure that there's not going to be another prestige pack like this, I guess what you could call it. But uh, right there, I just get the MOAB, and uh, this was Infection before it got the update, and they took out this mode for some reason. But uh, right there, I just get the MOAB, and I'm just sitting aggressively back in the corner making sure that we win this so I don't have to... Just go through the hassle of just trying to go find people on this map, especially when throwing knives were not allowed at this point. So basically, they just had to come knife you. And Robert Bowling was on top of this. People started telling him that, you know, there was a Moab every single game, and uh, basically they fixed it. And I'm kind of glad that they did that because within a 24 hour span, I had probably about 
54 Moabs, and probably this week I've probably had over 160 or 70 Moabs at this rate. Uh, basically, I can get them every three to four games. And uh, speaking of that, I'm going to be uploading a Moab every single day for the next couple weeks or so. And uh, right there's a host migration. All right, and we're back. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you, that you guys uh, enjoyed this. Um, you know, I can't wait to see what, you know, the next changes and improvements that are going to be from Infinity Ward. You know, Infinity Ward's probably my personal preference favorite company at this point just because they've had more commonly good games you know you have the call of duty 4 you had the modern warfare 2 and the modern warfare 3 that's you know borderline good borderline bad but i think that if they had some new levels and new you know guns and maps and everything like that you know the game would be really really good so uh right there i believe it goes 36 kills five assists and zero deaths i'm multi kills hd and i'm out